Welcome to day three of 21 Days of Prayer for Israel. Today we're going to start off with Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 and 3. God is speaking to Abraham, really for the first time. And he tells him, I want you to go forth. I'm going to show you where, you're, where I'm taking you. And in verse 2 it says, And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing, and I'll bless those who bless you. And the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. For some reason that God doesn't really explain, God chose Abraham and his descendants to be a blessing to all the families on the earth. To bless them. To point the way to Almighty God. This was going to be their mission on earth. That a people among all the peoples of the world was going to be used to reach all the other peoples. And this was a mission given to them by God. He chose them. He made a covenant with them. And then in Exodus 19, he says, Now then, verse 5 and 6, If you indeed obey my voice and keep my commandment, then you shall be my own possession, or literally it means my special treasure among all the peoples, for the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you should speak to the sons of Israel. So he calls them my special treasure. He calls them a kingdom of priests. He says a holy nation, a chosen people, and he had made a covenant with them, which actually was repeated many times in the Old Testament. But we know that this chosen people didn't always follow the Lord, did they? Or obey him, or keep his commandments. They disobeyed, they went after other gods. Instead of being a blessing to others, all the other nations and to the, all the families of the earth, and pointing people to the one true God, they actually began to just live for themselves. They became very ethnocentric you know they were the best people and everyone else was just they were just gentiles they were the others they had a, a condescending attitude toward the rest of the world so when jesus came as the long-awaited messiah they rejected him with some ex exceptions of course you know like the disciples and paul and in fact there's quite a few at the beginning through jesus the door was open for all the peoples of the world to come to God. And actually, this had been prophesied over and over by the prophets. And this new group of people who were redeemed by the blood of Jesus, uh, they were now called, according to 1 Peter 2, a new, a new holy nation. They were considered a new chosen people. And, as, and, and that would include Jews and Gentiles, really everyone who received the gift of regeneration or, or uh, justification that comes by faith. So what about all those promises to the Jew, Jewish people? You know, his special covenant with Israel. Well, Romans 9, 10, and 11 tell us very clearly that though they were rebellious and though they were... And it actually uses these words. They were enemies of the gospel. Even though most had rejected the righteousness that comes by faith, nevertheless, he was going to remain faithful to his, uh, to his covenant he had made with him. And that he was also going to fulfill every one of the promises that had not been fulfilled. And, and that at the very end of this age, which is we're coming upon right now, you know, he would bring many, many back to understand and receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why would he do this? I mean, after all, they were rebellious. They were, they were a chosen people and they uh, rejected him. And the answer is because of his covenant with him. Because he wants all of us to know that it is only because of his mercy that any of us are included in his kingdom. All of us really have been rebellious. All of us have sinned, right? And none of us deserve the abundance of the life that he gives. So our prayer focus today, let us remind the Lord 
the faithful one, to fulfill all the promises made to Israel, his people. Let's pray that their spiritual eyes would be open. And I'm talking about Jews around the world, not just in Israel. Let's pray that he would remove the hardness of heart that has kept so many from receiving the good news. Let's pray. Father, we do that now. We pray, Lord, that your faithfulness to your covenant and your mercy would extend toward the Jewish nation. And Lord, that you would open spiritual eyes, that they would really see who you are and what you've done for all of us. Lord, we especially pray, Lord, that they see with fresh eyes who Yeshua is, who Jesus is. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I just also want to kind of mention that there is a testimony clip uh, at the end of this video, and I encourage you to listen to it.